All right, guys. Hey, Coach Yuri here, CrossFit Billings, uh, coming at you Easter Sunday for the workout tomorrow, Monday. Here's what we got. Three rounds for our warm-up. It's going to be a two-minute bike, five and five Spider-Man lunges, five and five lateral lunges, and then 15 Romanian deadlifts, okay? RDLs. Hey, two-minute bike. So if you got a bike, great. Get on it for two minutes. If you got an outdoor bike, that would be my second choice as far as hitting this workout is concerned. So get outside, bike for two minutes, and see what that loop consists of. Come on in. We got five Spider-Man lunges, so I step out, put myself down on the floor, try not to split my pants after Easter dinner. That's a good thing. I'm going to hang here for just a couple of seconds, and then I can rotate back to the other side for that other side. Spider-Man lunge, just moving back and forth with that. Five and five lateral lunges or a caustic squat. So if I start with a wide base, I just move myself to the side and then back to the other side, smooth and steady. I'm warming up those hips, getting myself ready for it. Put my hands down on the floor to give me some balance if I need to. What we have are Romanian deadlifts. This should be light. It can be banded good mornings if you've got a band but I just grab a, a barbell, a dumbbell, kettlebell, anything, and I just move myself through basically that top half of a deadlift. I'm just turning on that back side of the body, keeping my tight core, flat back, weight in the heels as I go through that. So I'm gonna go through three rounds smooth and steady to warm up. The workout, that guy is another three rounds. We have a 30 calorie bike, 25 for ladies, and then 30 deadlifts. 155 is prescribed for guys, 105 is prescribed for ladies. <clears throat> okay, on the bike, obviously you're biking, biking outdoors, we'll talk about different options as when we get there, but for the deadlift, I go from the ground to a standing position, keep weight in the heels, keep my back flat, keep that bar close to my body as I stand it up, right there. Cool, all right, let's talk about the stimulus of this. The bike round should be about two to three minutes per round, okay? That is moving at a very, very uh, high-end aerobic pace, or think about like if you know what your lactate threshold is, that's something you're working hard, but you can keep up for five to 10 minutes if you had to, okay? That's what we're talking about, it's pretty dirty. So when you come off, you're also gonna pick a weight of that 155, 105 that allows you to go large reps unbroken. So I say, hey, don't rest any more than two, maybe three times. So that might look like sets of 10 on those deadlifts, maybe two sets of 15. Maybe I try 10 and I try another 10, I don't quite make it, so it's like seven, seven, and six, something like that. But I've rested three times in that scenario. That's what we're looking for with that type of weight. So, moving over, that should guide us for the scales. Scaling, if it's gonna take me longer than two to three minutes to hit that 30 calorie or 25 calorie bike, I need to bring those calories down or I need to bring my distance down because if you don't have a bike, what I would recommend you do first, first off, if you don't have a, like an assault bike or an echo bike, you would bike outside. That's what you're doing in your warm up. You're finding what a two minute loop consists of. So that would be that would be my first choice. Second choice would be a run. Third choice would actually be a row if you've got a rower because rowing and deadlifts don't work well together or there's just a lot of movement redundancy with those, okay? So but those are your options. Now, as far as the stimulus, a lot of reps, 10 reps at a time. I want you to pick a load that allows you to do that. So decrease this load to make that happen. I could even consider taking those reps down to 20 per round, especially if I haven't been super consistent working out or I'm, uh, you know, like 90 deadlifts is gonna be a significant uh, stimulus on the posterior chain. So just be aware of that. You might need to scale uh, reps down. Um, other options, I've got a couple of kettlebells here. So you can use dumbbells if you've got two dumbbells. You only need to touch one head of each dumbbell to the floor, and you can just deadlift those guys up and down. If I've got one object, 
I can do a sumo deadlift with one object, okay? Moving through that, into that, I could even do a one-arm deadlift. If I don't have a super heavy weight, I could do a one-arm deadlift. I don't necessarily need to double those reps up. I can just move through doing one-arm deadlifts 30 reps at a time, okay? Uh, sandbag, sack of potatoes, anything like that in that sumo style will allow you the ability to get some deadlifts happening in your workout, okay? So that's the workout itself. We do have some accessory work. What I'd love to see is you accumulating 100 banded leg curls and then 90 seconds per side of a side plank and reach through. For that banded curl, hopefully if you've got a band, you anchor it around something, put your feet in there, lock them into place, lay yourself down onto something, Oops, I'm stuck. Lay yourself down, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna accumulate, what's up, Augie, how you doing, bro? A hundred banded curls right there, okay? Now, that can be, that can be in uh, sets of like 30 to 50. You wanna move smooth and steady and fast with those and, and, and take minimal breaks. Accumulate a hundred as quickly as you can. For the 90 seconds per side of a side plank reach through, I move myself here into a side plank position and I'm gonna just reach through behind me and then pull back out. Reach through behind me and then pull back out. Now, the 90 seconds can be broken up however you wanna do it. You can do 15 to 30 seconds at a time, six to, three to six sets, okay? <laughs> Rough day. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. Go get it. We'll talk to you soon.